Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast to guide you home into your human journey here on Earth. My name is Vivian Gerard, and it is my delight to co-create with Gaia and share our messages from Source in this now moment. Here we go. Three hundred and ninety-seven. It is Thursday here in Cincinnati. It's beautiful. The sun is shining right now. It's a gorgeous, I think, 75, 80 degrees, and everything is gloomy. It's just an amazing summer moment. So I am arriving here very reflective and um, having the a feeling that we're probably going to go pretty deep into some conversation and and so I invite you to perhaps really pause whatever is happening around you and and create a little cocoon of time to sit with me and and explore what I'm going to be bringing forward for you so last night I was in a quietly listening healing session with my friend Andrea we do those every other Wednesday and um It was so beautiful. There was all this energy moving in the community. And then I was just laying there after a lot had shifted. And I was just so like still and peaceful and in my body and connected to the cosmos. And I just had this moment where I remember very clearly saying to my guides, like, why am I here? And I know we all ask this, and I've asked this question so many times myself throughout the years, especially since I started this process of remembering or awakening. I was like, why am I here? Like, what is what is the biggest purpose? And what I heard clearly is to love Gaia, to be here and to love Gaia, and then to share Gaia's love with humanity. And I just laid there feeling like the truth of all of that moving through me. If I were to bring my entire soul's purpose throughout all time into this one precise expression, it would be exactly that, to love Gaia, to to be this passionate messenger translator of this beautiful energy field that we get to play in every day, all the time. If you are listening to me, you are one of those who gets to experiment and dance and play with Gaia. And so right after that, I was like, well, what do I do with this? <laughs> I mean, I've already got all these things I've created. I do all this work. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? And the phrase I heard very clearly was, let's talk about Gaia. Let's talk about Gaia. And so that is the title of today's podcast. And And it feels like it's going to be a conversation that perhaps you haven't heard these words in this way, or perhaps it's been a while and, you know, like me, you get busy and things happen and our human worlds fill up very quickly. And then we, we lose touch perhaps, or we, um, we just get so wrapped up in the mind things, the human things that we don't always remember the, the core foundation of all of it underneath. And so that's what I believe you will be offered an experience of today in this podcast is this coming back to that quiet, still place inside and reconnecting with Gaia, not not perhaps the Gaia that you you have remembered as a child or the Gaia that maybe your soul uh, has a sort of vague memory of the Gaia of now, the the consciousness of this experience that we're in today like who who is the consciousness of Gaia if we were to use the word who you know Gaia well let me back up a moment (laughs) if you're like what is Gaia who's Gaia what are you talking about (laughs) so Gaia is the consciousness of our planet earth the the soul the soul let's use those words because I think those are easier to understand So I am this human named Vivian. I have a body, I have a mind. And then I have this soul, this consciousness that is infinite, that is so much bigger and has such more information and awareness than this human and this mind and this role that I'm playing right now. It's the same for our planet. So there's this 
physical planet that we call Earth that has a very structured physical uh, limitation. <laughs> we have so much conversation now about climate change. You know, the, the planet is dying. There's chaos. There's all of this happening. That's the physical reality, the body of Gaia, the soul, the energy, the consciousness, the infinite being that is Gaia is not limited at all. And, and so she's constantly, I always call her she, cause she feels like a feminine birthing energy. She's constantly recreating and becoming something new and becoming something um, more evolved and, and more awakened, more aware than what she was before. Just like we are as humans, where there are 8 billion of us mirroring what is happening in the collective form that we call Gaia Earth. And so, so I've written books about Gaia and, and I don't believe I can condense all the books into a short little podcast. I tried. <laughs> I had my first Gaia's Love Festival almost two years ago, exactly. And, and I did a podcast titled Gaia. <laughs> Great. Gaia. Let's just tell everything about Gaia in like 30 minutes or an hour. And I, clearly it did not, <laughs> did not uh, properly summarize what is the consciousness of a planet that's been here in our time understanding for millions of years. And so today, <clears throat> so you can read the books if you want the past version or the old story, the way I've understood it before. You can tune into the, the stories in this podcast over and over where I talk about the human experience of Gaia, the human interaction, my soul journey, dancing with Gaia, how I play as a human in the energy field. But what it feels like today's podcast is going to be about is let's talk about Gaia now. What is what is happening to the consciousness of our planet right in this moment? So it's August 5th, 2021, as I record this, like, what is Gaia as much as we can summarize it in our human word right now? And, and how does that fit with who we have known or experienced Gaia to be before? And where is Gaia going? If, if this is the moment we're in, doesn't look like that, what's it going to look like? What's it going to feel like? Where are we headed? There is so much fear and so much density and uh, heaviness that is expanding because so many more people are talking about how fearful and dense and heavy <laughs> the human experience is. And it, it feels like this to me. So if you, if you picture the chakras, right? We are all so much up here in our heads and chat, 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 chat in our ears, feeding all this information in through our ears and speaking it out <laughs> through our mouths with all of this condensed, you know. So this part of the human right now is so busy, everywhere, so busy. <laughs> and what happens when it's all up here is we disconnect from below we forget to drop into our heart chakra. We forget to go down to our root and feel safe and enjoy and be in pleasure. And we sure forget about connecting our feet to the earth and then listening, listening through the soles of our feet. Do you see the language we even use? The soles of our feet connect directly to the, the physical structure of our planet. We put our feet on the earth, we put our feet on the grass, and we're like, oh, that's right. <laughs> what's happening up here is like too much. What's going on down there? That's steady, that's consistent. I can feel what's happening. So perhaps um, your experience in this time that I'm gonna be sitting here transmitting this energy to you, your experience may be just a slight coming down into your heart and, and feeling resonance with whatever words I'm using in my mind and my mouth and my throat chakra to express that love to you. You might start to feel that in your heart. And so it's like a relaxing or a sigh or 
maybe tears or maybe you're coughing because there's like this block that gets released because you hear something that feels more true than the fear you've been hearing. And so it's like you want to cough out the fear or yawn it out. Sometimes we cry it out. And as your heart starts to warm and, and just feel the truth, right? Everything's good. <laughs> Everything is okay. It's all okay. And as you feel the truth of that, your root chakra gets activated and you feel more safe in your body. And then maybe your feet start wanting to like do a little tapping as you, as you remember, oh, there is an earth. <laughs> I'm not just up here in my head. There is this earth at my feet and everything's gonna be okay. Everything is okay. So here's, here's the, like, how do I summarize Gaia? <laughs> well, that wasn't the point of the podcast, right? The podcast is let's talk about Gaia. So let me talk about Gaia with you. Let me talk about just this incredible love that I have for this place we get to play. And perhaps as I, as I talk about Gaia, you will be reminded of why you came here. You will have that spark get lit up inside of you again. That's like, oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> Gaia, right, right, not Earth, not the density that I'm experiencing, Gaia, the consciousness, the teacher, the lover, the being that, that wants to just hold you in her womb and let you create and play, let you experiment with thought and belief and expression and creativity, like that's, that's why you're here, <laughs> so now you're doing it. You're creating, you're co-creating with all of these other beings and it's getting a little intense. You're like, I don't know if I actually like it. I don't know, right? And we get all bent out of shape, but we're the ones who chose to come here and co-create with Gaia. So as we talk about Gaia, Gaia, not Earth, Gaia. <laughs> I feel like I want to yell it in everyone's face, Gaia, <laughs> remember? Remember that energy, that consciousness that was like dancing through the universe and you're this little soul, this tiny little soul out there and you see this little blue spark of radiating luminous light in an energy field and you're like, what? <laughs> what is that gorgeousness? I think I'm gonna go co-create with that gorgeousness. And then you get here after you make that choice with Gaia and you're in this and you're like, hmm, not quite what I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it's quite what I want. So I'm just going to whine and moan and be in fear, right? We get in this like, what? We get in this and it's, it's not exactly as, well, even that isn't true. It's exactly as you designed it when you agreed to come through that veil of illusion or that energy field, the atmosphere. It was exactly as you knew it could be. And yet when you come in here, you forget all of those plans. And so Gaia is still, Gaia remembers. <laughs> and so she's giving you all that you asked for, <laughs> but you're in here bitching and moaning because you forgot how it was going to go. And so you're in here having this experience and getting mad at everyone in the world, but you're getting exactly what you, what you wished for, what you designed what you and Gaia agreed to. How do I know that? You wouldn't be here if you hadn't known what, you wouldn't be here experiencing this if you hadn't already known that was part of the plan of what it could be. That there's, there's no way, there's no trickster energy to Gaia. There's no duping. There's no, oh, bait and switch. <laughs> you think you're coming here for a vacation and you're gonna get help. No, it doesn't work that way. It's, it's a conscious co-creation with Gaia. So here you are, what are you going to do? What is that beautiful phrase? What are you going to do with your one wild and wondrous and beautiful life? That, I don't even wanna try pretend that I know who that is. Someone quoted that and I just love that. What will you do? Well, guess what? You're here living it. And so, so let's talk about Gaia, right? Let's not talk about the human experience. Let's talk about Gaia the consciousness that is our planet is also growing up is also evolving she's also having her own experience 
even as all of these humans moving in and through are having their experience. She's evolving. And so when you made the agreement to come in and she was blue, she had already been through all the other colors of the rainbow to get to blue, just like we all do as souls, right? We all go through that arc of color, just like a rainbow, and you move through the sequence. If you don't know what I mean by that, read the book um, Journey of Souls by Dr. What's his name? Souls by Dr. Michael Newton. <laughs> totally blanks on his name. I'm so sorry. Dr. Michael Newton, he describes in there over and over through hypnotherapy, soul after soul in a human body, was giving him exactly how it works. Here's the sequence of colors as souls learn in advance. They start at this and then they end at purple. And as they go through that arc of colors, just like the rainbow, they become more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Well, the consciousness of Gaia is doing the same thing. She started this way, she's been evolving, she's gotten to blue, and now she's getting ready to go to purple. Or she's already in the middle of it, right? Maybe that's exactly what is happening here. You'll know your body will feel the potential truth of whatever I'm saying to you. Your heart will be like, what? <laughs> Damn, how'd I forget that? <laughs> so when you make the agreement as a soul to come through the atmosphere and it's blue and you come in and you take on a human form, you're doing your thing, you're living your life, everything is just going not according to what you thought it was going to be, not exactly as you expected, <laughs> but you're here, you're doing it, you're living it. All you're focusing on probably is yourself, your family, your community, maybe some of the world affairs, like you're in your, your reality. Guy is evolving too. So as you've been growing up, she's been growing up and I use the word growing up very lightly, right? She was already so advanced and now she's entering mastery. So when we talk about Gaia, if you feel, so think about this statement that people will say, where two or more are gathered, the power exponentially becomes stronger. You know, it's often used with prayer where two or more are gathered to pray, the prayer is that much stronger. It's the same for meditation, for energy work, where two or more are gathered, the intensity of that meditation or that healing is going to multiply and expand. It's the same with marches when people want to protest something. The more people who are there, the more the power and the intensity of the message gets delivered. So if you think about thousands of years ago, there were just a few humans on the planet compared to now. Guy was taking her time. She was just moving through her evolution, you know, no rush, no pressure. Well, then more humans, population growth, more souls in human bodies, more energy, more activity. So what happens? The holder of that energy starts to speed up her own evolution. So now there's lots of humans in this womb and she's like, oh, we're moving a little faster. We're learning a little quicker. The energy of my consciousness is evolving. And so she starts how we have 8 billion lights, 8 billion souls in human form, all co-creating and doing their thing and in their mind and talking. <laughs> and so Gaia, Gaia is like, whoa, right? Can you feel the momentum of her evolution? The, right? The power and the strength of what is happening to the consciousness of our planet her capacity it's like it's like a hot air balloon it's like filling itself all the way up and it's ready to take off except she's a physical planet she she's a consciousness in a human form like not in a human form in a physical form like we are as humans so she's this thing <laughs> that is intensely filled with energy and and consciousness and evolution and like so much so think about when, when you have that experience, when you have a moment of an awakening or um, a dimensional shift in consciousness and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, like how did I not know that that was how life worked? And now I'm here and I have to like bring it all in and function and like live normally, <laughs> right? But I'm this big energy in this little thing. You think about Gaia with 8 billion souls that are awakening and, and co-creating and ah, 
<laughs> right? What her, what her buzz of energy must be like and how the momentum of that is moving her so rapidly from blue into purple. Right? It's like she can't slow down. It's like a, you know, when, when something, a snowball starts gathering steam and it's going down the mountain, except her evolution is going this way. Her consciousness is like multidimensional in all these different realms and expressions. And so what's happening with Gaia? Let's, let's talk about Gaia. What's happening is her evolution is putting this pressure on the human experience. She's like, y'all, <laughs> y'all signed up for the ride. It's on, <laughs> we are doing it. It's happening right now. So are you ready to play? What happens? We got a global pandemic. All right, humans, how do you wanna deal with the intensity of, of pressure? of authority let's let's squeeze greed and competitiveness let's look at it let's let's really define medicine and health and community and energy space and i mean <laughs> belief let's define choice let's define how we work as one global community versus lots of little pockets of countries like we're interdependent now do you realize that you're not separate from each other? You're still trying. You're still trying to do that. And it's not working. It's not working. And, and so the human experience is being, the best word I can use is squeezed, squeezed. We are experiencing time differently. How many times have you heard somebody say that recently? What, what is time? How is, how are we in August of 2021? Were we just in quarantine in 2020? Here we are. What happened? <laughs> it's a, it's happening in time. It's happening in, in space, meaning the spatial relationships we're experiencing with each other, within communities, the uh, space, literally like, Everyone's trying to go to space. There's all this conversation about going to space. I mean, I we could go on and on, but we're not going to do that because this is not about humans. This is very much about, let's talk about Gaia. Let's talk about Gaia, which inherently means we talk about humans because we are in this, it's almost like we are, we are the energy uh, supply for Gaia's evolution, which is why she's so willing to co-create with us. We are here living, breathing, acting, doing, being, right? Our minds, our thoughts are creating this reality and we're doing all this stuff. And that is the fuel, the energy source in the physical form for this evolution of our planet. And we, we agreed to that or we wouldn't be here having these experiences. So it's not like we're coerced into it. We chose that when we came through the energy field of the planet. But when we're here, we get so into our own reality that we forget about the co-creation with Gaia. And so let's talk about Gaia. She's going to start putting the squeeze on a little more and reminding us, you're actually here. You're here because we're going through this magnificent thing called the evolution of consciousness. Let's wake up. Let's remember that. That's why you're here on Gaia right now, in Gaia, co-creating with Gaia. Because you wanted to be here as she moves into purple, as she evolves into this infinitely embodied, sustainable consciousness. So she, she's, uh, we are co-creating, we are fueling this evolution for her. And then at some point when she's purple, she's gonna be like, are you done? We're going to say, yeah, we're kind of done because <laughs> you're where you need to be. And so you don't need 8 billion of us here. You only need how many? We don't know, right? She's going to tell us. And so we're, we're going to, we're going to have these experiences that religion has written about called the revelations. Is that right? Or uh, the ap apocalypse or the end of time, or, you know, like there's going to be the stuff that will look like that. And and in our human understandings, we have this fear of 
that happening, the end of the world, climate change, the, the, even as I say that, I can feel all the fear that we've all associated with that huge change that will happen when not as many humans need to be here to fuel the consciousness of our planet's being. <laughs> words are so limited. I try to put words to this and I'm like, how do you, you know, how do you explain this? You have to feel it. You have to, you have to connect with Gaia and talk with Gaia and have your own relationship with the consciousness of our planet. And she'll tell you, she'll show you, she'll, she'll give you all of the information that you need so that, so that you can fulfill your part of co-creating with her. When we're all up in our heads and we're not connected at our feet, our feet to the earth, <coughs> we start coughing. <laughs> we get sick. Oh, that's funny how that happens, right? <laughs> when we're up here, there's all this blockage of energy and we're not listening to what Gaia is saying to us. And so all this stuff happens and then we get afraid and, you know, medicine and fear take over our conversations and our minds and our realities and force this feeling of fear and death and illness. And you bring your energy down to your feet and you go outside and you stand in the grass and you breathe in. There's air, there's plenty of air, there's fresh air that's been recirculated by the trees and the grass and the plants. If you can't experience that in your backyard, go find that. Go get in a car or walk until you get to a place where you can breathe fresh air and fill your lungs, put your feet on the earth and like breathe. Bring your energy, your stillness, your centeredness back into your body instead of up here down, <laughs> down into your roots. Maybe sit your butt on the earth for a little bit and just like release all the fear and the toxicity into the earth and then talk to Gaia. It's, it's the same, it's so funny because I feel like we've, as a collective humanity, we often give permission, like we'll talk to your dead grandparents or you know the one you love to has died, talk to them and they'll be right there, which is absolutely true. And we believe that, you know, talk to the energy, the soul, the consciousness of that one that you loved in human form. And the conversations can feel so sweet and so peaceful and so healing. And, and we have strength again to get up and move through our day because the one we loved is still here with us. Well, do that with Gaia. She's, her consciousness is, you're in her consciousness. <laughs> you're sitting in the womb of this planet. Talk to her and see, like, what does she say back to you? The, the messages are, I love you. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for co-creating with me. Thank you for being here as I go through this evolution. It's kind of, kind of wild, isn't it? It's kind of unknown. We're sort of figuring it out together. You know, how do you think I'm doing? Like that's, that's the dialogue that can happen. And I have found it over and over. It comes from this place of curiosity and joy and wonder. Our our planet is becoming a master of her own energy. There's wonder that happens when you master yourself. It's like, wow, I did that. <laughs> I did all that and I'm here and I'm going there. Like, are you kidding? We know this feeling. It's when you graduate or when you become a parent or a grandparent, you're like, what? Like I was that, now I'm this and I'm gonna be this you know that feeling multiply that by eight billion that's, that's the consciousness of gaia she's delighting in what is happening and all of us as humans are so afraid and gripping and and maybe maybe that's a block i'm having maybe that's absolutely perfect in the design of humanity is that we are so filled with fear that we add all this extra fuel and that's exactly what is needed. Maybe that's true because that's what we're creating. Or maybe, maybe this message is coming through right now to say, 
That's the old way. That's what was needed for her to get to the blue color, for her to advance to whatever she was before. When we move into mastery, into purple, into this like, knowing that we are now an infinite being, there's no room for fear. It's, it's not necessary. It's not part of the equation anymore. There's, there's peacefulness and satisfaction and acceptance and delight and anticipation. <laughs> there's, there's all these amazing emotions that when we're filled with fear, there's no room for those emotions to be and move through us because the fear has such a grip. So talk to Gaia, go sit on your butt and like listen to the sounds of nature, which is Gaia talking and expressing herself to you. So the other nugget I would offer, <laughs> it's so funny because even as I hear myself saying all this, I'm like, I don't know, is anyone, is anyone actually receiving what I'm transmitting? I mean, I feel it and I can feel Gaia just like, <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> and also, I don't know, like, are you ready to receive that? Are you ready to be in that, that place of reverence, pure reverence for the consciousness of this planet that has brought herself to this moment? Like it's, it's as pure a moment, a feeling as when you hold a newborn in your arms and you're just in awe that life was created from two human beings, that new life could be birthed. That's, that's the reverence that I feel for the consciousness of our planet. And I know that she feels for all of us as we go through this with her. It's, it's the highest form of co-creation. It's just pure love and partnership. <laughs> so the other nugget I was going to offer, I wrote a book um, in 2018, I believe. I think so. Um, it's called One Day, Gaia's Gifts. And chapter four is a story about the year 3178. And it's, um, yeah, it's a gift. It's a gift. So in the book, I, I talk about how there are places where energy has been anchored into our planet. And when the moment is right and the planet is ready, that energy will be opened and released. And when that happens, right, things shift, things, things move things move, consciousness evolves. And so the first one, I, um, I had a Guy's Love Festival, I mentioned, in 2019 here at my home. It was chapter 14 from the book. It was my story of, of how energy could be opened on our planet. It was by being present, by being in the now moment so fully that time dissolves and you are here. And what happened a few months later is COVID started and people began focusing on being present and not being in their old routines, being fully in the moment and being aware of energy in ways that they hadn't before, being aware of our energetic space around us. So when I was tuning in this morning, like, let's talk about Gaia. <laughs> let's talk about Gaia and let's explore this fear that is so pervasive right now about so many issues but let's explore that and what i kept feeling and hearing in my meditation is so now it's time for another one of those energy portals to open for another one of those expressions of gaia to be activated and so chapter four is the story about what our planet our consciousness of gaia will create by 3178 so here we are in 2021, right? What do I know? 
what do I know? Here I am, this human who doesn't have a science background and hasn't studied the geology of our planet and, you know, has all these real things that are um, being told to me about what will happen to our planet. But that's not, that's not who I'm listening to. I'm listening to Gaia, the consciousness of a planet that is moving from blue to purple. And so if this is where she's at today, where is she going? Where is she going? What does 3178 look like through the lens of Gaia? Not through the lens of humans. Humans, <laughs> we're just simply here to provide the energy source for her, to help assist her in her own evolution. We're not, we're not the decision makers as much as we think we are, as much as our minds tell us that we are. This is Gaia's adventure, Gaia's journey. And so what she shared in the book is how 3178 looks and feels and and there's this beautiful gift of energy that is transmitted from 3178 back here to this bubble of time that was from when i wrote the book until 2021 so i'm going to make um i think an audio i don't know if i'm going to do a video i'm going to make an audio and it'll be in a meditative space and so I'll share that on YouTube and Instagram and my website. And if it resonates, if there's something in you that's like, I want to know, <laughs> I want to know what 3178 looks like on Gaia and feels like on Gaia. You can hear it through the lens of what she shared with me. And then see, see how it feels to you. And then if you want to be part of that, giving back to this moment, there's in the meditation, you're able to do that. You're able to support the evolution of our planet through breath, through breathing, which ultimately is what gives us human life. Without breath, <laughs> right? We stop, we are no longer humans and we become souls and we go on with our journey. So, shoo, it's 11.33 on my clock as I, as I say that. Um, yeah. So let's talk about Gaia. This is my contribution to the conversation. I would be thrilled, so excited to hear what Gaia says to you if you sit and tune in outside or take a walk or lay under the stars tonight and feel the sounds of our planet communicating with you. I would be honored to hear what she says. So feel free to share that in the comments. And I'll put the link once I've created it to the meditation uh, also in the description. And if it resonates, you can tune into that and, and play in that new way. Okay, let's talk about Gaia and how much we love her. And what a precious, incredible, powerful gift she has given us by co-creating with us in this way, in the human form. Magnificent. <laughs> All right, have a beautiful week. Oh, oh, two full moons in Aquarius last month and this month. New moon in Leo, 8 a portal on Sunday. I mean, if there is not a better time to talk with Gaia, to listen to what Gaia says, it would be this weekend. So find some time in your schedule and go outside on Sunday, 8 8. Go be with Gaia and see what she says. So much love. Thank you for tuning into this vibration of pure love. I invite you to join me in Viv's Energy Gym, where we are building a community of leaders in this new earth, exploring infinite embodiment, the soul aligning harmoniously with the human body and mind. You can learn more at mysouljourney.com. Let's take this message of Gaia's love out into all of our relationships and communities today. So much love from my heart to yours.